<laughs> Ouch. Come on, come on. Yes! Gotcha. No! Hello there YouTube and welcome back to War Thunder. Today I'm going to be taking out the AX38 Grizzly. This is the new premium American Grand Attacker at 4.7 battle rating and sits in rank 4. So it comes equipped with a 75mm M10 cannon with 20 rounds in the nose, two offensive 50 cals, 500 rounds each, and four defensive 50 cals, two top two bottom and they come with a thousand rounds a piece for each um, defensive turret this also gets bombs and i'll quickly switch to those so you get four 100s four 250s or four 500 pound bombs i'm going to be using the 500s just in case i miss with the main cannon and for the ammunition for the 75 millimeter we have default shells which are armor piercing and high explosive incendiary tracer i'll be trying them out but the ones that i am going to be using mainly are just the ground or armored targets really it's just armor piercing tracer shells just to punch through because this isn't the american um, is, isn't the american one it is the american one this isn't the german duck with the 75 millimeter cannon that one is much better with the default because when you're using a HVAP, it just tends to make lots of little holes in the tanks and nothing else. M10 cannon comes from um, things that have M10 cannons. That's an M1 cannon. What has this one got? M3. What's this one got? M3. What's got an M10? I think the M10's got an M10. No, it's got an M7. That's got an M10? No, it's got an M1. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. Something in here has got an M10 cannon, I'm sure. Either way, <laughs> either way, we're just going to be using mainly the armor targets. So, guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the gameplay. That wasn't there before, that little flashlight, like the little spotting light. Beauty from the T95 as well. We've done something to one of the side panels. I'm not sure exactly what, but... Mm. So they do little things like that, but they don't tell anyone that they're doing it. So complete fucking mystery to everyone. Thinking there, man. Sort of keeps the game fresh. Oh, well, I'd like to be fucking informed that it might only be a little sort of alteration to the way it looks, but. It would be nice to know when they do it. Would you move your foot out my arse, dog? It's made me crash. Oh, 750 spawn points I need. Cheeky fucking bastard. It's gonna kill me. Shit, I've got one shooting from the other fucking side. There's one. Cheeky bastard is fucking hiding now. Honestly, I thought he was gonna kill me there. God damn. This has got no zoom anymore. Oh damn. Yeah, it hasn't got any zoom anymore. I'm gonna fly out over the water and then come back in so I can shoot at the sides. I think that's the best bet for this. Sorry, 
Although well, depending on what I'm shooting at, if it's a T34, it should go through the upper glazes, like the front plate of it, without any problem. enough damage to pen him. I think I'm gonna have to lose the bombs and then probably use a cannon without should be able to get this one in the spawn. No he's dead. Hang on, I'll get this one. <sighs> non pen. Oh, got in with the bombs. <laughs> when in that, drop your bombs. Oh, let's see another one. Oh shit, combat flaps is ripped off. Oh, this looks light. Hang on. Oh! my god, hit him slightly too low. Yeah, I think so. This is quite fun though with this. Oh, got him. <laughs> That was through the fucking top of one of those factories as well, or not the factories, um, like where they parked the trains. I think I might use the, the armor piercing ones instead of the default shells after this. <clears throat> well, the default ones are armor piercing and then HE. So I think if I use. Um, Jesus, I think if I use the armor piercing normal ones, because it's the same amount of penetration, it should be better. My plane is shot to bits. I'm barely able to turn. Come on. I'm gonna have to RTB after this one. <clears throat> no, I can't. Can't. Oh, I've got that stupid up and downy nonsense bullshit. the usual story ain't it nope there's one by the water I've just seen um, a load of smoke kick up there's near enough right by the crane at the moment I think he is 
Yeah, there's two of them at least. Oh, I can't pen a tiger from the front. Too fat. Oh, shit. Hang on. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. I can't even pen this guy. Okay, not even APDS is going through. Um, not APDS, sorry. Um, APCR. Oh, there we go. That one got him. That was weird. All the other ones are just banting off. Must have got a lucky shot in. Yeah. Well, I couldn't hit that. I could only get the gun meant that he had his ass to me. I've got a PT-76 here, this should be an easy kill. Come on. It's uh. critted me. Been shot in the arse. By a fucking tank hiding on the waterline, the shoreline. Fucking dickheads. That is shitty behaviour. <laughs> Got the PT-76, the T-34-85 was hiding by the sunken boats in the water. It's the worst part about playing the maps the same maps over and over and over because people get so used to them they just pull shit like that all the time because they're bored of playing the map so they lose interest in driving random a lot of the time so they tend just to find spots like that and in every single game they drive to it they don't want to do anything else because they get fed up playing the same maps did you get that guy or is he still still going I got one that was in the water, which was much more than Yeah. Them. No, that was the one. <laughs> Straight through. Turn around. If you spot any, let me know. Think this bloody dock, and then I'll fly back over there. See one. Bombs. Got him. Hiding behind that little wall where the statue of um, Lenin is. Can't see anything by sea, but I reckon there is one probably over there somewhere. But damn if I can see him. There's a DO over here that needs shooting down if you're able. Or well, I can give it a go actually. Trying to get in behind him if I can. Also scan the bloody ground, see if I can see anything. Oh, 
how he goes. No, I'm going to end up shooting that fucking typhoon because he's floating right in the way. Now he's pulled off because he's got a few hits. Um, well, he's taken a few hits. He flies over there like, mine, mine, mine. And then as soon as it shoots back, he's like, no, I don't want to play no more. Leave me alone. I take my ball and go home. Damn! Fuck me! Fucking ZSU-37 scared the shit out of me. Took the wing clean off. Welcome back to the hangar, guys. So, the big question, is the Grizzly worth its weight in gold? Well, if you like collecting fun, novel vehicles like this, then yes, definitely it's for you. If you're looking for a premium ground pounder with consistency, then no, I wouldn't say it's for you. You can get kills with it, but I wouldn't say you can get kill streaks with it. Not like one of the ground attacking aircraft like the F6F, the P47, P51. You can't continually kill over and over and over. This is an incredibly large target. It does have decent top speed and decent maneuverability, although you all know Warfinder, these stat cards are not 100% and not really to be trusted you are a big target and even the most novice of spaas can shoot you down i've been shot down an absolute ton by spaas and because this only has a single seat gunner controlling the um, turrets at the back both top and bottom if he gets killed with the first burst of enemy fire from a plane it's over and done with you're not going to outrun him you're not going to outmaneuver a fighter you are going to die it is fun to use but i'd suggest putting a talisman on a p47 or the f6f5n you'll end up using it more and you'll have more fun with it to be quite honest you can't really drop your bombs and rockets and then go after an enemy plane in this it's really not that sort of vehicle you probably could shoot down a few planes but it's unlikely you're really going to stick on a towel of an enemy plane but definitely fun definitely one for um, using on those rare occasions like for events or whatever or just being flash and showing off but if you want to have a decent ground attacker and save some money just put a talisman on a p47 or on a, an f6f so guys i'm going to wrap this video up if you are new to the channel guys and you have enjoyed today's gameplay please do subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notifications bell for updates on future content also guys a thumbs up is appreciated it does help the channel out and i will be doing some more content very shortly for update 1.71 so until next time guys i will see you soon and have fun